So y and x they vary with direct relationships. Uh, so they go together in wow. each way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, this kind of function is called very direct variation. So here is the example of this um, function. So as you can see here, so y vary y varies directly as x and x. So it's like this and when x equals 5 y equals minus 15 so it should be like this and then uh, if we use values that follow if uh, and then this uh, kind of function came up and then k is equals minus 3 so y equals 3x and then if we put 3 to x then y equals 9 9 minus no, 9 oh, I mean minus 9 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it must be yeah, negative 3 and nine negative nine 3 nine. Yes. 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 and then next example is uh, so the direct function should be y equals oh. oh. and then <laughs> the, um, y equals 12, right? So this, and then when x equals minus 3, so like this. So k is minus 3, minus 4. Oh. So, uh, we should find y when x equals 7. So the function, uh, function is this, right? Mm -hmm. So if we put x 7 to here, so oh, oh. then... So the answer is A. Yeah. A. And, <laughs> and next variation is joint variation. So this function is looks like this and uh, y varies jointly as x and z if there is some non-zero constant k such that y equals k x of z so uh, it's uh, this is similar to direct variation but it has uh, more uh, unknown variable uh, variable right so this is an example of joint variation. So the parent function of joint variation is y equals k x z. And then uh, when x equals 10 and z equals 5, so it should be like this. Oh, oh. <gasps> no. no. <laughs> It's gone? No. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> 